Welcome to the world of algebra. We're going to be doing a lesson today over one-step equations with multiplication and division equations. So let's solve for x. Where's x? Oh, look, there it is. Uh, that's an old math joke. A school group is planning a trip to New York City. There are 29 people going on the trip. They have agreed to share the total cost of the trip equally. Let S equal each person's share of the cost. What is each person's share of the cost? Solve the problem any way you choose. But let's solve it with algebra. So go ahead, pause the video, and give this a try for your problem of the day, and we'll solve and discuss it. Okay, you paused it, right? So here we go. Let's give it a try. So there's 29 people. Now here's the total cost. Remember, you, you, you are allowed a calculator, so you can have a calculator next to you. And we have um, 29 people times S equals $19,111. Well, that's a lot of money, but I guess if it's uh, close to 30 people, that makes sense. So here's the coefficient. Here's the variable. And we're multiplying, this means 29 times S. So the inverse operation of multiplying by 29 is dividing by 29. So I'll sh first show you how I do it and probably how your parents did it. We divide by 29 like this, and then this cancels out. And we're gonna divide by 29 here. And you're allowed to use a calculator to plug 19,111 divided by 29, and you're gonna get S equals $659 each, okay? So each student will pay $659. Now here's how Envision will show it to you, okay? Envision will explain it and show it like this. It'll have uh, 29, hold on a sec, 29 people times S equals $1,900. 11. So there's nothing different now. Now, instead of dividing it with the fraction, which is how your parents and me like to do it, they're going to do it like this, 29S, and then the inverse operation of multiplying is dividing. So they're going to show divide it by 29 equals 19,111 divided by 29. So they're going to show it like that. And now the two 29s cancel out to get S by itself. Remember, the rules of algebra are you want to get the variable by itself, and whatever you do on one side of the equation, you must do on the other side of the equation. So that's why we divide it by the same amount on both sides. And you get this. So you see it's the same thing, same concept. However, uh, it's just a different way of showing your work. And Envision will have these as blanks. So these will be blanks, as, as you may have already seen. These will be blanks. Okay, let's move on. And uh, this is practice for remote school. If we ever had to go remote, I don't know if we will. But you'll watch these videos and then do the work right in your workbook along with us. So let's see. How can you solve a multiplication equation? Let's look at an example. Juan sold three paintings for $45. He charged the same amount for each painting. How much did he charge for each painting? Define the variable before you write and solve an equation. Let x equal the amount Juan charged for each painting. Solve the equation 3x equals 45 to find the answer. What is the unknown in this situation and how is it represented? What operation is used in the equation? Okay, what is the unknown? So three paintings sold for $45. The unknown here, X equals the amount that one painting costs. We're going to figure that out now. The unknown is the amount of money Juan charged per painting and is represented by the variable X. The operation used in the equation is multiplication. How can you find the value of X that makes the equation true? Well, the inverse operation... We'll How this. does this pan balance represent the quantities in the equation? So 3x's equal 45, and then you do 45 divided by 3, and each x will equal 15 there. 
Think of the algebra three cubes like labeled a balance. x on the left pan represent the 3x in the equation and balance the right pan of 45 cubes that represent the 45 in the equation. Notice that both sides are divided into three equal groups. How does this pan balance represent the solution of the equation? I was hitting the wrong play. This pan balance shows the result of dividing both sides by 3. The pans remain balanced, so x equals 15. And then next we'll show you how to do that. You can use inverse operations to solve the equation 3x equals 45. Which operation will you use? So inverse operations, very Select important. your answer. What do you think, guys? Dividing by 3 is the inverse of multiplying by 3. Use inverse operations to solve the equation. Write the equation. Divide both sides by 3. Simplify. To check, substitute 15 for x. Write the equation. Substitute 15 for x. Simplify. It checks. All right. You solved a multiplication equation to find that Juan charged $15 for each painting. And let's now do the triad. So you'll do this right along in your book with us. Here we go. Teresia picked the same number of tomatoes each day. In four days, she picked 52 tomatoes. How many tomatoes did Teresia pick each day? Let n represent the number of tomatoes Teresia picked each day. So go ahead, pause this video, and let's give it a try together. All right, we're back. Thank you for pausing it. And uh, here, 4 times n equals 52. You see where I am looking? Now, the inverse operation of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. So if we divide by 4 on the left side, we have to divide by 4 on the right side. And 52 divided by 4 is what? 13, right? Let me just make sure. Yep, 13. So Teresia picked 13 tomatoes. Now the way I would do it is this. And it's very important to show this work. Divide by 4. That cancels out. Divide by 4. And you get n equals 13. And then you want to check to make sure it works. 4, four times 13 is 52. That checks. All right, let's move on. Example two. The 15 members of the ski club go on a group ski trip. Student groups receive a special rate on lift tickets that is half off the daily rate. Write and solve an equation to find T, the total cost of their lift tickets. Have any of you ever gone skiing? I think that would be really cool. I think about 10, 11, 12 is a good age to start skiing. Have you been skiing? Let me know if you have. The 15 members of the ski club. So here we have T, and we're dividing by 39, or we're dividing by however many there are here, by 15 members, and we're going to get that. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, guys? All right, so it looks like this. T, here's the model for it. I know how much you love models. T divided by 15 equals this. The inverse operation of dividing by 15 is multiplying by 15. So we use the multiplication property of equality to multiply by 15 on both sides of the equation, keeping it balanced and equal. Always think of algebra like uh, two balance scales. And you're going to get the total price right here. So the total cost of lift tickets is $592.50. Skiing's very expensive, guys. That's why I haven't been in a long time. I'm going to have to get another job to go skiing. All right, here we go. Let's talk about Helen. Helen puts 2,292 stickers in an album. Each page in the album holds 24 stickers. How many pages, P, can Helen fill? All right, so there's equal amount on each page. And here, this is the multiplication model here. It will have an arrow. And it's, this is the total amount of stickers, and the stickers on each page, and how many P can we fill. So that shows multiplication or division there. Okay, guys, that's the model for that. And 
one way you can solve it, it didn't click over there, it goes, it clicked over for us, is like this. This is how you would solve it. This is the equation for it. Okay, and you divide by 24. Finally, they're doing it my way. Divide by 24. These 24 over 24 equals 1, and 1 times p is just p, so you get p by itself. And then you do the same thing on this side with the division property of equality, 2,292 divided by 24, and you get 95.5. So Helen can fill 95 pages. So notice here, you can't fill a full page here. That's part of a page. So how many full pages can she fill? Well, 95. We'll drop the remainder here. And now you guys try this one with Megan. Megan is reading a 630-page book. She reads 18 pages each day. Write and solve a division equation to find the number of days, D, it will take Megan to finish her book. Go ahead and pause the video now and see if you can do it. And we're back. 18 times the number of days equals 630, okay? So 18 pages times the number of days equals 630. Well, the inverse operation of multiplying by 18 is dividing by 18. That cancels, divide by 18. And now you do 630, 630 divided by 18 equals 35. So D equals 35, right like that. And then you want to check it. 18 times 35 equals 630. That checks. All right, guys, in your book, we're going to do 5 through 20. Everyone, let me see 5 through 20. And if you want to get a little ambitious, try to go through 24. That would be awesome. And I'll show you that on another video. As of now, I'll see you later. And thanks for doing it in your uh, book and also watching this lesson with me over algebra. Thanks. Bye.